welcome to our backyard tour. And then it'll be like da 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 little montage of the backyard. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name's Sabrina, if you're new here, I share this account with my husband Andrew who is currently working behind the camera. And today we're gonna give you guys a backyard tour of our backyard. Uh, we actually did one back in May, I believe it was, when we planted cedars behind our vegetable garden, but the backyard looks a lot different since then and everything is grown it looks beautiful so we're gonna take you guys on a little tour with us today hopefully this will answer any questions we get about where things are from and you know we can show some before and afters because when we moved here this backyard was pretty much a blank canvas there was some um, one garden over in the back here by the vegetable garden i'll show you there was a couple bushes but that was pretty much the extent of it and the trees the trees were already here everything else we put in ourselves including restoring the pool that's a whole series most of you probably already know that because that's you know where most of you guys have come from this yard has come a long way so we will take you guys on a little tour Currently, you guys are seeing the overview. This is what we see from our upper deck. The original deck was in really rough shape. The handrail was like two feet tall. The deck boards were all broken and chipped. It was really dangerous. Actually, it's funny talking about it now because we did throw my sister's baby shower up on the original <laughs> deck. So um, we all survived that, but it was in really horrible shape. So last year we added all new deck boards, new handrail. This is by Peak Products. You can get it at Home Depot, not sponsored, but we do love them. The gazebo is Canadian Tire. I believe the brand is called Skyline. The rug is from Laloy. The patio furniture is from Home Depot. The solar light is from Canadian Tire. Fire table from Canadian Tire as well. This whole deck obviously is still a work in progress. It is a empty space, but I'd love to put a day bed over here for my dog and I and maybe some planters or something. Andrew's making a face behind the camera, but you guys can't see it. I'm carrying water because I'm gonna talk your ear off. Projector screen is from Amazon. I have it um, linked on my Amazon storefront, but I'll put it the link in the description of this video. And then our barbecue and the cover, don't look at that. The color of the deck is Cordovan Brown by Bear, and we have a video of us staining it. And we also have a video of us restoring the whole deck if you guys wanna check that out as well. Continuing down the stairs, we had a lot of questions about the stain on the stairs. Everybody is very concerned about whether it's hot on your feet. I know it doesn't look so good right now with dirty paw prints, but it doesn't get that hot, not nearly as hot as this concrete and this composite does. Um, if we could go back in time, we would not do concrete around the pool. I think that was one of the biggest mistakes we made because it gets so hot and it gets slippery and it's just dangerous. Welcome to the lower porch. This was our project last summer. We restored this whole space. It used to be a mudroom and it was actually a mudroom made out of doors. The previous owner of this house was quite handy or quite creative, I guess you could say, because he built this whole space out of doors and it was used as a storage space, but we ended up opening it up and completely turned it into a covered porch, which has been amazing for using it as an entertaining space and having company over. These lights up top are color changing lights by Govee. I actually just posted a video about them. If you're curious to know about them, they have like 72 different scene modes. You can change all the colors and do fun patterns and they're permanent like Christmas lights. And then we just have our outdoor pool table. Uh, we have another video on that. If you guys wanted to see that build, it was a regular pool table. We got off Facebook Marketplace added some cedar legs and it did have a cedar cover for it as well so we could use it as a dining table but we just keep it open and play pool all the time. The plan for over here is that we want to do an outdoor kitchen in this middle space here. So an outdoor kitchen kind of this way, countertops here, maybe a countertop here and have it as a little cook station or fridge station. I don't know, that is still a work in progress, but we would love to get there. And then this was the hookup for a barbecue that used to be in the mudroom by the last owner. This is our covered deck area, which is also really, really great to have, especially for entertaining. This dining set is from Pioneer Pools. These chairs recline. Let me show you. 
Ooh. Also, this table extends, so it gets really, really big. And then welcome to the newest addition to our backyard, which is our hot tub. That was last week's video if you watched it, but we bought a hot tub, which is something we have been wanting to buy since we moved here. Andrew is a big fan of hot tubs, and we were able to get this one on sale because it was the floor model at um, our local pool place. We got this, it came with the cover, and it came with the stairs, and we have been enjoying it every single night. It's been super great. And then we just built a fence here, one side of the fence anyway. It was previously chain link, but to spare our poor neighbors from having to see us in the hot tub every night, we built a fence. So this will actually be a video coming out probably next week, but we added the lights, added the hydrangea, and then just some spike plants in the planters because we weren't quite ready to commit to a plant just yet. Welcome to our pool with our handy dandy frog log. If you don't know what a frog log is, it sits on the side of your pool and it acts as a little barrier for critters that fall in. They can crawl to it and crawl back out. So there's usually a frog sitting on it, but I don't think there is right now. I set them free already. Andrew set them free already, he says. Patio furniture was from Facebook Marketplace. It's not that exciting. We do need cushions for it, but it was like both chairs for 50 bucks. Let me quickly tell you about what our plans are for this space because it doesn't look how we want it to look. Um, eventually, we would love to get this fence here, this chain link fence, and basically move it to the back of our property so that our yard is open and then fence the rest of the yard so that we don't need this, you know, community pool vibe around our pool. And the whole thing would be fenced in. It would be great for our dogs and then we can have a clear view of our garden. It's kind of the plan. We hope to do that as soon as possible, really. <laughs> Come on out here and I'll give you a tour of the garden. This is one of the gardens we put in last year. Um, these two cedar trees don't look so good, but there was an adorable little bird nest in the one. We don't have the heart to pull it out, um, but it definitely needs to go. And then I just planted sunflowers as a temporary solution here because there used to be four cedars. Two of them died right away. Over here is another work in progress garden. So we are kind of in a toss up right now as to whether we should do like a little pond here or I want something for the birds because I have my bird bath over here, which the birds love it. They love the seed in this tree, but I'd love to do like a little pond or something for them. Everything is about, we're all about the birds around here. It's a work in progress because we haven't got enough plants to fill it yet or figured out what we want to do with it. This tree, obviously this was here. It actually used to be a little circle garden around the base of the tree. And then I think it was all just grass. The plants, we were able to pull some from our front yard. We brought some from the old house with us, which is so nice to see them all growing and thriving. And then a few other things we purchased over the last three years. You'll notice that it's not fully mulched. Again, this space is a work in progress, so we'll have that finished in the upcoming weeks. But right now we are just not there yet. One of my favorite things in my backyard is this little bird feeder tire swing. Ugh, mosquitoes bird feeder tire swing. It's adorable. I don't even know where you can get it because it was a gift from a friend of mine. It's just so cute and the squirrels can't get to it. Not that I don't like feeding the squirrels. They can eat off the ground, but the birds just look so cute in it. And then this is supposed to be my secret garden. That is so not a secret right now because everything is still growing. Last fall, we started planting everything in life hack if you are creating a garden plant it in the fall when you can get plants on discount everything was marked down to only a couple dollars and everything survived so we've got some hookra in here some daisies some coneflowers uh rose of sharon hollyhocks that were growing from seed same thing on this side we planted this in the fall and i this is a hydrangea and then my little cottage vibe garden i love the look of a cottage garden so and the birds love it and the bees love it and there is a baby rabbit living somewhere in here that we noticed the other day when my dog Ackley tried to kill it so um everybody loves it i'll take you guys through my little secret garden eventually i'd love for this to be filled in so that all you see is the arbor but that'll take some time like i said hollyhocks grown from seed we've got pumpkins if you are an OG follower, you might know about my pumpkin debacle last year when I planted pumpkins in a pumpkin patch and I got the tiniest little pumpkins or the plant died. Um, so this year I planted pumpkins everywhere. So I am bound to get at least one pumpkin. 
look at how gorgeous these sunflowers are. They didn't get very tall, but the blooms on them are amazing. And then these are lilacs that we planted back here to kind of hide the chain link fence, but eventually the chain link fence will be gone. So it should just be a nice backdrop, but right now they're all leaning because we get a lot of wind coming this way. And then heading this way is what's usually my sunflower fence. Um, I plant them every year from seed and they grow all the way down the fence. For some reason this year, all of the back row, which are my tall ones, like this variety, are gone. So I don't know if, sorry, like this one, this tall variety, all of the back row was supposed to be like that. And they're all gone. Like they're not dead, they're just gone. So I think that either my dog trampled them or they might have been weed whacked or I don't know. But we have these adorable little ones anyway. They do the trick. The birds and the bees love these ones too. Like I was saying when we were up top, this was part of the original garden that the last owner had here. It was these four bushes. We've added everything to it. I love the look of a cottage garden. Like I said, the messier the better. And a lot of this was grown from seed. So I know like the black eyed Susans don't look so good by now. I don't care because the butterflies love them and the bees, the bees love them too. Everything we do around here is for the birds and the bees. We have Cosmos, Black Eyed Susans, Echinacea. These are native plants to Ontario. We get a lot of questions about if we plant native plants. Of course we do. We just mix them all in with other plants that we like. So it's a mix of native and non-native, but it works well. Columbine, as Andrew was saying behind the camera. In our recent video, when we planted a garden over here that I'm gonna take you guys to in a minute, we do get a lot of questions about why we don't use weed barrier. We actually did in this garden here and it has been such a disaster because the bindweed that we get here, it's so bad, it just latches onto the fabric and it's like impossible to get rid of. Um, it's taking over the bushes. As you can tell, there's like two tone to the bushes. It's not supposed to be like that. And so we just pull everything by hand, which is a lot, but there's harder things to do in life. So it, we don't mind. Also, we're always moving plants around. We don't usually commit to a spot right away. We'll like put it somewhere and then the following year we might move it if we get more plants. Um, so then you just don't have that commitment that you would if you put landscape fabric down. You could do cardboard too. People do cardboard, but um, we, just, we just go for it. This is also a new addition to our yard, which we just shared this week. We put in this cute little Barbie garden, I've been calling it because it's all pink and white and I am obsessed with it. I love it. Um, these here are strawberry vanilla. Hi oh my gosh, wait, look at the size of this toad. Can you see him? Oh my gosh, he likes my Barbie garden too. Good boy. <laughs> strawberry vanilla, panicul strawberry panilla, wait, strawberry vanilla, panicle hydrangeas beautiful so they start off white they go pink let me go around because there was a lot of questions about this this is a hookra gosh i forget the name of it this is so unhelpful um bee bomb which bees is which is native the bees love it gosh i forget what that's called too a still bee hookra hydrangea and then more bee bomb this is phlox I don't know more a still bee Shasta daisies, lavender, baby blue spruce. Now listen, we know this will get big. Obviously it's gonna take over one day, but that is years from now. And like I said, we love moving things around in our garden. So chances are we're gonna move these plants around long before that gets big enough. So it's fine. Lavender, bee balm, daisies, lavender. Anyways, I love this garden. It came out perfect. And now I wanna put them everywhere around our backyard. Over here is another view of my little cottage garden. This here is a peony. The story behind it is at our last house, it was an old man who lived there and he had a beautiful garden at one point, but then we bought it and we didn't know anything about gardening. So we were like, it just became a mess. Everything was overgrown, except for one day, Andrew found a tiny little peony plant like in the back corner being swallowed up, no blooms or anything. So we dug it out with us and brought it here. And this year was the first year that it bloomed. And it was so exciting to see. I was just thinking about the last owner who has passed away now, but how excited he would have been to know that his peony bloomed and is doing great. And it just looked beautiful. It was so exciting for us. And over here, same story. These two rows of Sharon's came with us from our last house. Um, that was something that was really important to us when we were moving from our last house because we loved that house and we were just getting into gardening and like taking care of plants. 
um, and then we were going to leave them all behind. So we took the Rose of Sharon's with us as well, brought them here, and they're doing great. We're also doing this tour in the evening. I should point out that I swear our backyard looks the best in the evening. All of our string lights are from Costco. I'll put a link in the description for them, but I swear by these string lights, they're the best ones. Anyways, everything just looks better in the evening, including my vegetable garden. The plans for this vegetable garden are available for download on our website if you guys want to recreate it. I know so many of you have, and I love getting your pictures when you guys send us your recreations. But we built this in 2021, and it's my pride and joy. Let me take you inside. Come on in. It says Sabrina's Garden. Duh. Okay, listen, it's not looking as great as it usually does. We had a bit of a rough start to the summer. We were a little busy. We didn't put a lot of care into our garden this year, but we've got strawberries, lettuce, corn. Um, to be honest, I've grown lettuce here like four times already this year. I haven't eaten like a single leaf from here, but I grow it and then I throw it away down the hill of our property for the rabbits to eat. So, and the cedars behind me, this was another video that we planted earlier this year. A lot of you said that they were planted too close together. You're probably right, but they are surviving and they're doing just fine. We planted them based on the guidance of a professional landscaper who sold us the trees. Uh, so we have them on a drip system so they get water every day, but they look just fine, okay? I have volunteer potatoes popping up in this bed. They grew from last year's potatoes and more potatoes here. And then look at this incredible sunflower. Look how tall it is. It's like eight feet, more, eight feet you think? Over eight feet. It grew from a sunflower seed that was in there from last year. And it's so big and strong that I have my tomatoes all tied up to it. Right here in the middle is my green bean arbor. And it looks really amazing. It's full of green beans. Um, that's okay. Green bean. This bed is a little crazy. It's cucumbers. A tomato. I think that there's peppers in there too, but listen, what happened was I planted two cucumber plants. I've never successfully grown cucumbers. And this year I have grown so many cucumbers that I don't know what to do with them. I guarantee that if I just like reach in here, there's another one sitting around. Let's see, there's one, a long skinny one, but it's full of cucumbers. It's starting not to look that great. So the cucumbers are starting to taste a little bitter, but I'll probably just give them to the rabbits. This is also one of my favorite parts of the yard. Uh, we put this little garden in around the tree, a little cedar pathway that's actually made out of the deck boards that were on our upper deck. So we turned it into a little path, like a little fairy garden, and then I stained it this year. It looks great, and then planted a bunch of things in. Another pumpkin, sunflowers grew on their own. More astilbe, coneflowers, another hydrangea, and then same sort of vibe over here. Um, coneflowers, hookra, hostas. Now we're getting into one of my favorite views of the backyard. I love looking at the house from back here, so I'll show you in one second. Okay, you show them. Show them now. Just show them. See what I'm talking about? It looks so much better at night. These are blackberries that we planted our second year of living here and they are almost ready to pick. They are taking over and also the raspberries are taking over. We just finished, pretty well, pretty well finished harvesting them. There's still like a few on here, as you can see. They spread. So we did have blueberries in here as well, but we've never been able to harvest the blueberries because the raspberries have taken over. But that's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. This garden is a work in progress. I don't really want to talk about it because it has been horribly neglected. So let's go to the star of the show, which is our fire pit. This is our claim to fame. It is our baby. It is what most people know us for. If you don't know us for our pool renovation, it's the fire pit. We built the fire pit in summer 2021. It wasn't last year. It was the same year that we did the pool, whatever year that was. We bought retaining wall bricks off Facebook Marketplace and we had pea gravel left over from when we did the vegetable garden or the greenhouse, I can't remember. And then we built the bench this year for it, then a simple little pergola for it. And it has been, what everybody wants to know about is the fire pit or recreate the fire pit. I love seeing all your videos and your photos of you guys recreating the fire pit. Um, it's so exciting. And then last year we landscaped it 
So we put just a couple things in here. I didn't really want to overdo it because the focal point is the fire pit. It doesn't need that much, but I love it. I swear by it. It was the best thing we ever did and I would not change a thing about it. And I want to tell you guys about these string lights. These are also by Govee, which is the same company that made the string light. No, not the string lights, the permanent outdoor lights around our house. Um, and these ones are also color changing that you can do through an app. So that's really fun for when we have people over. Over here are my feet pavers. I know how some of you guys feel about my feet pavers, but if you don't already know, I got them on Facebook Marketplace and a lady was selling a set of two. So I bought myself one and one for my mom because uh, my grandma used to have feet pavers leading into her backyard as a kid. I thought they were so cool. So I added them to the fire pit as a little tribute to grandma. This is another amazing view of the yard. I love looking at the fire pit to the vegetable garden, to the other gardens. It's just perfectly aligns right to the back of the house. It looks so good. Over here is another baby blue spruce. We planted this in the spring. It's adorable, not much to say. And then over here, this right here, don't get too excited. Welcome to my pumpkin patch. <laughs> well, technically it is a patch. It's just a patch of grass. Andrew won't even come in here. We just got a little busy at the beginning of the summer here and I wanted to do a pumpkin patch again. Time got away from us. So I tried planting corn and I actually did put a couple pumpkins in, but the weeds have taken over, so it didn't work, which is why I put pumpkins all over the landscape. Technically, it is a patch. It's just not of pumpkins. Back there, as you can see, that's our cupola birdhouse. It was a project in the early spring. It was a cupola that used to sit on the upper deck. We took it off when we restored it and drilled some holes in it and turned it into a birdhouse. However, it is still vacant. We have no tenants yet. This. I haven't shown this yet because it's not done yet, but basically we had a patch of dirt that wasn't really growing much. So we planted a ton of wildflower seeds this year of native flowers and wildflowers, and it's growing in so well. And then all of these sunflowers grew from the sunflowers that I usually grow, throwing them down the hill at the end of season for the chipmunks to eat. I'm going to take you guys down to our tree house now. Uh, it's quite dark down there, so we'll see how well the footage is. call this treehouse trail as it leads to our treehouse. I need to do a little sign for it. Basically these stairs, we put them in in the spring as well. And uh, otherwise it was just dirt and weeds, but it's nice to have a little pathway to get down. And our yard leads all the way down here. Welcome to our treehouse. If you're new here, this was our winter project 2022 maybe? Or 2021, I don't remember, but we have a solar light on it that turns on when we get motion and we get so much deer down here that it's like there's always something going on but let me turn the lights on oh shoot one side's dead oh no oh no okay well this is very anticlimactic but usually both sides turn on because it's battery powered hold on let me see do these work there we go so I'll give you a really quick overview. There's already a tour of our treehouse on our YouTube if you guys want to see it. This is battery powered and it's a tree branch that I spray painted gold and added little crystals to it. I wanted to look like it was raining off of the tree branch. And so it's battery powered from a remote and then everything else in here was just like thrifted finds or things we already had. We built it out of a lot of materials we already had or things from when we were renovating the house. Like this window was in our bedroom and we brought it down here, used it in the treehouse. And then these light bulbs here are actually um, emergency light bulbs that you can charge by putting in your lamps. And then they, oh my gosh, I'm burping. And then you can use them as a flashlight. So we just put them in a sconce, it goes up to the top where we have a loft. It's got a mattress up there. And then in here we keep board games and, oh my gosh, board games and Jenga and fun things and then Behind you is a screen that comes out and it goes across. It's for a projector so you can watch movies in here. But I do think that when we have kids one day, the kids are going to love it. We've had our niece and nephew and my, my sister's son, my nephew, come over and, and get to enjoy it. And they always go crazy for it. They just love it. We have solar panels because we can charge everything in here through the solar panels. You can see it's just a beautiful view of the forest. We get a lot of deer and raccoons and foxes and things like that. 
walking through. So it makes for a very relaxing sleep if you get to sleep in here. But I'm gonna take you guys up top now to our greenhouse before it gets too dark. You guys can probably tell from now how much this backyard is grass. So we wanna put in a lot of gardens and trees and really fill it in for nature. Oh my gosh, I'm winded. Welcome to our greenhouse. This was our project last spring. We built it out of deck boards. The whole thing is pretty much made out of recycled material. And we added some solar lanterns, link in description. I have to change out the plants, they're getting fried over here, but it's our little greenhouse and it's been amazing. We also use it as a shed, so it's been really helpful to have. And then over here, we've just got some raised beds, tomatoes, zucchini, beans, and check out these pumpkins. They're totally taking over. Basically the yard has come a long way. We've put a lot of work into it and we still have a long way to go to get it to where we want it to be. Make it really nice and special and finish landscaping. It has absolutely been a labor of love, but we would always rather be outside gardening than working inside the house. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If there's anything else you care to know, um, feel free to comment below. I'm sorry this is a long one. So if you made it to the end, kudos to you. We will see you guys in our next video. Bye.